I grew up actually here in Denver. We actually lived in a tool shed on the south side of Federal. I like to call it Little Mexico. The one thing that I do remember is always every Sunday, we'd go down cruising. I think that's also probably contributes to my, my love for cars. Unconsciously, I always wanted to be the guy with the, the coolest car going down. <laughs> my name is Elias Gutierrez. I am an industrial design student here at Metro State University. When I was in high school, I didn't think I wanted to go to college. I just wanted to work on cars. The promise of a scholarship was more than a boost for me to, to think that I could go to college and I should go to college. This is a 3D printer. It's what we use to take designs that we've put into the computer. What it does is it builds it up inside here, and once it's done, you take out the part, and next thing you know, you've got yourself a fully functional piece that looks like it's something you bought off the shelf at the store. So I can make a design, and 10 hours later, I, I have the physical model in my hands. Exactly. When I was a kid, I would just pull apart all my toys, you know, and it frustrated me. I was like, how did they make it? I could not figure it out, you know, so. I was a kid that always asked questions and was very frustrated when I couldn't just solve it just right here. Oh, that's really cool. Elias is, is good at looking at the world as it is right now and thinking it can be better. There's something that I could change in this arena or in this arena to actually improve the world. In order for Elias to really succeed in this industrial design business, he does have to be very skilled at both being an artist and being an engineer. And the whole process along the way is pretty competitive. The courses are very difficult and they're designed to test you, see if you are a real designer. You can actually toss out the cans. Also mobility, by adding casters to here, this will be relatively mobile, you can place it anywhere. The footprint to this, this is at its thickest. During portfolio review, they told me redo the portfolio and submit it in two months. I definitely thought of leaving the program because it's so nerve-wracking to turn in a portfolio and be told that you're not going to be a designer. We want kids like Elias to graduate from college. We know that Elias is a really good problem solver, so I know that he will be successful because he knows how to ask for help when he needs to. Denver Scholarship Foundation, they actually stay in contact with me every semester. I met with Siobhan. It's, it's definitely good to have somebody to go to. You know, you, you have somebody that tells you, you're doing good, keep doing it. In college, you, you end up putting yourself under a microscope and you find out who you really are. You know, I, I, I told myself I had to do it. You know, I, I couldn't see myself being anything other than an industrial designer. park here in Denver that focuses more on sustainable design and these are homes here that are actually uh, designed to be built a lot easier uh, for anything that might happen with uh, post natural disasters. There's several occasions when I've been able to see Elias's eyes light up. You can really see that he's excited and really wants to learn. I know he's uh, interested in sustainable design and wants to use some of his design education to help people in other countries that are less fortunate than us. I, I'm very confident that uh, once he's done with our program, he's going to be able to do very well. I do think it would have been very unfortunate if Elias hadn't made it to college. Assuming that none of this is actually organic material and it's all plastic bottles, it actually probably serve as an insulator and it'll be probably a strong structure. We all have to play a part in helping students like Elias graduate. And we all benefit when kids like Elias succeed. If Denver Scholarship Foundation did not exist, I would probably be wet sanding a car right now. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I want to be designing the car, not fixing it. <laughs>